easy to keep your saw running at its best performance, but you have to keep up with the maintenance. If not, your saw may run poorly and can be unsafe. When your saw is not running as it should, most people think it must be a carburetor problem, when in fact, it's usually something else and can easily be fixed in the field. In most cases, if your saw is in good running order, you should only have to make slight adjustments to the carburetor for altitude. Improper adjustments to the carburetor can cause expensive damage and unsafe operating conditions. Tuning the carburetor should be one of the last things you do. So first, follow these troubleshooting steps. You can troubleshoot a rough running engine in the field. What makes a saw run is fuel, air, and spark. So if your saw, for example, is hard to start or won't start, doesn't stay idling and the motor quits, idles excessively high, the chain spins at an idle, runs rough, or has smoky exhaust, check the air filter and make sure it's clean. Check the fuel filter and inspect the fuel line for kinks and holes. Don't use a multi-tool or sharp object to inspect the filter or fuel line. Inspect the spark plug terminal to make sure it's tight. Check the electrode for carbon or damage. Recheck the spark plug gap. Make sure that the spring in the spark plug boot fits tightly on the spark plug. With the spark plug wire connected to the spark plug and the on-off switch in the run position, verify the spark by placing the spark plug against the cylinder head and pulling the pull starter cord. Inspect and carefully clean debris from in front of the magneto and check the magneto wiring for loose and broken wires. Be sure to add the correct amount of gasoline for the mix oil bottle size you are using. Check the spark arrestor screen. Make sure it's not blocked by debris or carbon. Check the on-off switch to see if it's malfunctioning. Check the clutch springs. If your chain spins at an idle and you find a broken spring, this most likely would be the culprit. After you have gone through these checks and have made any repairs, perform a rollout test. Roll the saw at idle from side to side as well as forwards and backwards. The idle RPM should not change during the rollout test. Drastic changes in RPM can indicate an issue with the fuel system or an air leak at the crankshaft seals. So to review, before you make any carburetor adjustments, troubleshoot first, fuel, air, and spark. If the problem still exists, you can ballpark the carburetor settings. It's a field setting for the carburetor. So let's get started. Make sure your saw has no less than one half a tank of freshly mixed fuel and a clean air filter. The bar and chain have to be attached to the saw with the proper chain tension applied. Start the saw and allow the chainsaw to warm up for three to five minutes before making any carburetor adjustments. The best warm-up procedure is to fluctuate the throttle for a minute or so before going to full RPMs. Maintain the throttle at full RPMs only long enough to verify it does reach full throttle RPM. Place the saw on a stable, slip-resistant surface. This can be on the ground, a tree stump, or even a log. And be certain to position the bar and chain away from any nearby objects or people. To ballpark your carburetor, and if your saw has EPA high-low speed limit caps, gently turn the high-low speed adjustment screws counterclockwise until they stop. This is the richest setting allowed by the limit caps and is the factory default setting. The limit caps also keep tension on the screws and hold them in position. Without these limit caps, the adjustment screws will consistently change position and so will the adjustment settings. If the carburetor doesn't have limit caps, Gently turn the high and low speed screws clockwise, just until they seat. Then, back them out one turn. Never adjust the high speed screw without a tachometer, except when ballparking it. You can permanently damage your saw. If your chainsaw is not operating at the ballpark settings, don't continue to use it, as this could damage the saw or injure the operator. Your best option is to grab a new saw to finish the shift. So to review, before you make any carburetor adjustments, troubleshoot first, fuel, air, and spark. And that's it. Ready to get going.